Hello to everyone, I hope you're doing okay. In this video I'm gonna show to you how to build the simplest zero crossing detector that exists all around the flat earth. You can use it in wonderful applications with triacs and zero switching relays and other things. And it's insane how simple it is. Let's see it in paper first. As you can see, we have two ordinary transistors, the 2N3904, and two resistors, one 8.2 kilo ohm and the other 82 kilo ohm. Now let's see how does this circuit work. As you might expect, we need an AC voltage source that gives a sine wave voltage. Now, when the voltage at the base of the first transistor reaches 0.6 to 0.7 and above, the first transistor starts to conduct current. This current creates a voltage drop across the 82 kilo ohm resistor. So, the voltage at the collector drops. When the voltage at the AC source is greater than 0.6, the output is almost zero volt. But what would happen when the voltage at the base is between zero and 0 and 0.6? In that case, the first transistor does not conduct, so the voltage at the output is high. Now let's consider the case when the voltage at the AC source goes negative. In that case, the voltage at the base of the second transistor is becoming more positive than the voltage at the emitter. Because the emitter voltage is going negative relative to ground to which the base is connected. So when the voltage drops below minus 0.6, the second transistor starts to conduct and drops the output voltage low. Short story long. When the voltage is between minus 0.6 to 0.6, the output is high. Anywhere else, the output is low. So, the output is high only when the AC voltage passes through zero. Now, let's see it in action. I'm using here an isolation transformer, which gives me 30 volts RMS. Now, listen carefully. This circuit does not provide isolation, so you have to use an isolation transformer. Do not connect it directly to the power line, or this circuit would be your last circuit. As you can see, the circuit is this little thing here, only two transistors and two resistors. That black thing at the right is not part of the circuit, but is an oscilloscope probe. I'm gonna fit this circuit with 12 volt DC, but you can fit it with another voltage if you want. Now let's turn on the AC transformer. As you can see it produces a sine wave, a little bit distorted, but it's okay. The zero crossing detector is switched off. Now I'm gonna switch it on. The yellow trace here is the output of the circuit. Okay, wonderful. You can see that when the AC voltage passes through zero, we have a pulse. This pulse can be used for different applications. For example, to synchronize the turning on of a track or the switching of a relay. So in this way, you minimize the switching losses and do not create dangerous arcs. Now, this pulse is a bit fat, around 200 microseconds. But it's a small part of the old cycle around 1%. If the AC voltage is higher, this would be even lower. Okay, thanks for watching and let's see you next time. Bye.